Ever wonder how your code decides what to do next, step by step, choice by choice? I'm glad you're here. This is Butterfly CS Lectures, and in a couple of minutes, you'll see how programs actually flow. Let's start simple. Sequence. Code runs top to bottom. Do step one, then step two, then step three. Like a short recipe, no twists. Picture a checklist. Mix, bake, serve. Each line finishes before the next one starts. When you read code, imagine work moving down the page. Sometimes, code must choose. An if-else is a fork in the road. <clears throat> if the rule is true, go this way. If not, go that way. Only one path runs. <clears throat> Quick example. If the temperature is over 30 degrees Celsius, we say hot. Otherwise, cool. Same check two outcomes. That's code reacting to data. Next up, loops. <laughs> they repeat work so you don't copy paste. We walk through a list one item at a time, doing the same action for each. We can steer the loop. <laughs> Continue means skip this one, keep going. Break means stop now. Handy when some items don't need the extra attention. Functions are tiny tools you can reuse. You give them inputs, they do the job. When we call a function, the program jumps in to run that code. When it's done, the function returns a result. Execution jumps back to where we called it, and we keep going with that new value. Behind the scenes is the call stack. Think of plates in a pile. Fact four calls fact three, then fact two, and so on. Each call pushes a plate on. Each return pops one off, until we're back at the start with the answer. Some code just waits. In event-driven flow, nothing runs until something happens. No event, no action. It's simply listening. Then, click. The event fires, your handler runs, and a new branch of work starts. Fast, responsive, and only when it's needed. Here's the map. Sequence, choices, loops, functions, call stack, events. That's how code flows from start to finish. Thanks for learning with Butterfly CS Lectures. See you in the next one.